These are the ingredients that you're going to need for the meatball minestrone. The amounts and measures um, will be in the recipe linked on the side. Quite a few, so let me try to zoom in a little bit. That's salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, garlic, beef broth, white beans, Italian cut green beans, um, tomatoes. The recipe calls for a 28 ounce can. I didn't have one, so I'm mixing two cans. Frozen fully cooked meatballs, carrot, celery, onion, zucchini, cabbage, and pasta is optional, but we're leaving it out in this uh, recipe. Okay, I have a couple tablespoons of olive oil um, heated in a large Dutch oven. Adding my onion. celery, carrot, zucchini, Two tablespoons of garlic and I'm going to let this cook until the onions start to get um, transparent and translucent. Same word I guess, softened and translucent. I'm going to let them sit a little bit. I like for it to develop a little bit of color and then I'll come back in and pick up on the next step for you. Okay, this has been cooking for a few minutes. Um, you can see the onions are softened and translucent. There's a little bit of color on the zucchinis and onions. Um, I, I noticed that I didn't have tomato paste. I didn't notice it until I actually started cooking. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make it without it. It's not going to be a big deal, but had I had it, I would have put it in before I put the canned tomatoes in and let it cook for, you know, 30 seconds, a minute down in the bottom of the pan just to um, kind of brown it up a little bit. I'm just breaking up the, the tomatoes. One of the cans were stewed, so they were just sliced, so I'm breaking them up just a little bit. Next, it costs for six cups of broth. I have a little bit left here, probably about a cup left in this one. Half cup, maybe. A whole box is four cups. I'm just going to rinse out these tomato cans to get all the juices out of them. To use in water. Now I like my soup a little thicker, so I'm going to hold off on the other cup or so of the broth um, until after it cooks and see how thick I it is and if I want it any thicker or thinner. Um, I'm not going to add pasta, so that's not going to take up much of the juices. So, um, these are the fully cooked meatballs. I'm going a little slow over right here. And this wasn't a whole bag. This is a bag we had in the freezer and used a little bit off on here and there. 
Um, per serving, you'll probably end up with two or three meatballs. Excuse me, two or three meatballs per serving. And that's a weight loss surgery serving. Give or take wherever you're at in your st stages. And the shredded cabbage. The Italian seasoning, which was, I think, like a tablespoon. Looks about right, maybe a little bit more. And again, I like to rub it in my hand just to uh, break it up and release the oils in it since it's a dried seasoning. Not going to put too much salt in there since I'm using the beef broth and it is salty in its own. But we like a lot of cracked black pepper. It doesn't matter how much I put in here, AJ would still fill his bowl full of it when he gets it out. Push down in there a little bit. I'm gonna let it come up to a boil. Right now it's on a about a medium high. I'm gonna let it come up to a boil. I'm gonna knock it back to a medium low heat um, until the cabbage wilts and the zucchini is more tender than it is now. I'd like it to have a little bit of bite, but. According to the recipes, it's supposed to let the vegetables get tender. And then I'll add the cannellini beans and the um, green beans at the end. Okay, this has been sim simmering uncovered for about 10, 12 minutes or so. You can see the vegetables have gotten all tender. The uh, meatballs have now cooked and they've popped to the top. Now it's time to add the white beans. The recipe calls for cannellini beans. I can never actually find cannellini beans in my grocery store. Any white bean will do. These are great northern beans. And undrained the uh, substance that's in with the beans will thicken up the soup just a little bit. If you want it a little thicker, um, dump in about half a can of the beans and then mush up the other ha half a can. And that will help thicken it up too. If you're watching your sodium, then by all means, go ahead and um, rinse the uh, beans off before you add them. And these are Italian cut style green beans. I don't know if you've ever seen them before, but they're just flat like pole beans. Giovanni. Sorry, she keeps jumping up on the cabinet. I'm just going to add those till they cook through. And then it's good to eat. Now I'm going to let it cook for probably another half hour or so until AJ gets home. But at this point, just let it cook through. Um, if you're going to add your pasta, then add it and it's ready to eat. And I'll show you the finished product um, when I spoon it out. Enjoy.